Are you ready? Because I am. So, hello everybody. Welcome to the stream. It's your boy. I can't get rid of this cough for some mm -hmm, reason, yes. even though it's 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 not the sauce. Trust me, I'm not, I'm not feeling any of the other symptoms. Anyways, it is time to get started with something that I've been putting off for literally no reason for a couple weeks now, and that is a new Let's Play. And what is that Let's Play? Well, we're going to go back to licensed racing games, and uh, we're going to be going to the Isle of Great Britain, or the British Isles, whatever the fuck. I don't know. Point is, we are going to be starting a new Let's Play of Touring Car Challenge. Toka 2. For the PlayStation. Also known as Toka 2 Touring Car Challenge. Or if you live in Europe, Toka 2 Touring Cars. I hate how Codemasters are really dumb with their naming. <laughs> regional names. Back in the 90s and 2000s. But anyways, yep, Toka 2. It's been a while since I played Toka 1. I wanted to play Toka 2, so I'm going to play Toka 2. And, of course, uh, let's see, when was this? 1998, I believe? Because the first game was 97, or something like that. Officially licensed of the actual BTCC championship. And, uh, yeah, let's just, let's just get this popping, my dude. So, uh, boom, here we are in the main menu of Toka 2. Touring Cars, or Toka 2 Touring Car Championship, or Touring Car Championship, Toka 2. Whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm just going to call it Toka 2. So, <laughs> so uh, let's just get through our menus here, or I could just uh, sit idle for too long and have the game play a demo for me. That's cool, too. Um, I'm playing this on my PS3, so if there are any slight emulation bugs with this game, well, you know who to blame. Sony. Cause, cause you know, this is an official emulation thing. Oh, so, yes. hey, <laughs> thanks for the host, Atlantis. All right. Anyways, uh, how long has it been since I did Token One? I don't even remember. I don't know. But uh, once we get loaded back here, we're gonna go through the options real quick, and we're just gonna get started with the game. Cause there actually is quite a bit to do with this game. A lot more than the first game. So, um. Of course, we have our memory options. We have information here. We have information on all the tracks and corners and, yeah, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Um, information on all the cars in the BTCC for this year. The year being 98, I believe. As well as the drivers. Which is really cool. Yeah, I'm not going to waste too much time with that. High scores, it's high scores, whatever, time trials, how many points you got in the championship, whatever. Game options. So, I've already set up everything, audio set up. This, the CD music was at 80 by default. Um, I'm gonna leave the menu music on because I'm pretty sure it's not licensed and made for this game, so I won't get fucking murdered by YouTube shitty bots. Uh, graphic setups, it's just whatever, position your screen. Uh, you can have digital or, or analog uh, tack. I'm going to go with analog because that's my personal preference. Going to keep all the other HUD elements on, of course. You can choose what size rear view mirror we want, small or large or none, as well as where on the top part of the screen it's going to be. So either top left, top center, or top right. I'm going to top center because that's what I'm used to in terms of where mirrors are. Controller setup. I'm using my DualShock 3 in analog mode, so I'm going to be using analog controls. I have sensitivity set to low. Um, it makes the steering a little heavier, but it's um, it, it's a little easier to manage, I think, in terms of not spinning the car. <laughs> so, you know, there, there's that. And then we can select our language, either English, Francois, or Espanol. Stick with English. That's the only language I know. So, that's all the option rigmaru out of the way. Yay, seven months. Yay. Thank you, Aladar, for the seven months. Resub. I do appreciate that. So, let's start race. Here's all of our race modes. We have a lot here. 
So we have our standard championship mode, which is a run through the actual BTCC. We have a new challenge mode, which I'll be taking care of. We also have the support car championships, which is going to be interesting. It's going to make up the bulk of the first part of this LP. Then we have our typical single race mode time trial, which has its own challenge mode, which is just try to complete as many laps as you can before a timer runs out and you receive less time. Uh, you get less time added to the timer with each lap you complete. It's it's whatever. I'm probably not going to shut off. Link up game, that's for multiplayer, but I'm alone. Normally, not only in this period of social isolation. And we also have a test track <laughs> we can go to. I'll probably show that off later. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So what we're going to be starting with here is we're actually going to uh, start with some support car championships. Because before we make it into the big leagues of the BTCC, well, we, we got to run some support races first, you know, build up our credentials and all that shit. So um, let's go to, to the support car championships. We have two... What the fuck was that? Oh, that was the music. I'm like, who is talking? It was the music. Okay. Anyways, we have two championships unlocked from the start. A Ford Fiesta championship and a Formula Ford championship. We ain't just BTCC here. We also have six, seven, five other championships to unlock as we earn points through the other support championships. So we'll be going through those. But uh, we're going to get started here in Token 2 with the Ford Fiesta Support Championship. And this is where I enter my driver name. I'm just gonna go with this because it's easy. Yeah. So here's our Ford Fiesta. We have a choice between auto and manual transmission, of course. I'm going with manual because I'm cool like that. And we actually get to choose our car color here. So we have this uh, bright purple or dark pink, whatever you want to call it. Red, orange, teal, uh, baby puke yellow, that, magenta-ish color, blue, blue AF, green, uh, also red, another purple, another gray, and yeah, all those colors. Um, I'm going to go with purple. Because I like purple. Actually, it's a Ford. Let's go with blue. Fuck it. Blue oval Ford. Fuck it. We'll drive We'll drive a blue Fiesta. So here we go. Are you guys ready for our first uh, race in the new game? Let's play. Yeah. I don't fucking know. No pink. I mean, there was a sort of like a purpley pink. Oh, we're going to Snetterden first. A purpley pink for like the first color. So here. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't sure if there was going to be any uh, dialogue there. Um, this menu seems a little stretched and also like cropped improperly on stream because for some reason the game is like slightly inconsistent with its aspect ratio. So I kind of set it up to where it would be perfectly 4x3 with the race on in the actual in-game racing. So this little pre-race screen is a little bit fucky wucky but um, it's 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 fine. It's fine. So we have a few options here. We can load a setup, save a setup, quit. Uh, something we, that was not uh, present in Token 1 is the ability to change your setup. So you can change... It's, it's very rudimentary. You can change uh, uh, suspension, stiffness. You can change your gear ratios. And you can change your brake bias as well as tire uh, compound. So you can now go with either slicks or enters or wets. So that's pretty cool. Glad they finally added setup changes. It only took them, you know, second game. Toka Tuesday. But it's Sunday, Geracer. Also, hi. Anyways, we have the option to qualify. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to qualify. I'm going to prepare to qualify. Then I'm going to qualify. You're at Snitterton. So here we go. Okay, so Fiesta is a five-speed, so... There's that. Here's the camera that we're going to be mainly using for this. Because, um, you know, gotta, gotta show off, show the car. 
Eevee's graphics. Oh, yeah. oh fuck. Oh god, I've forgotten how to drive this thing. Okay, it's been a while. I don't have a lot of experience with this game, I will admit. Like, I've never pl actually played through it. I've done, like, you know, the the Fiesta Support Championship in, like, one round of the BTCC. That's about it. So, <clears throat> this is going to be my first time actually playing through the whole game. It's going to be cool. I don't remember Snatcherton much at all, in case you haven't noticed. So, uh... Oh my god, okay, I might need to up the steering sensitivity a bit. Maybe low sensitivity is, is a little too much. Nice Festiva. Hell yeah. Anyways, cycle throw cameras. We have a uh, we have a taller chase cam. Oh, come on, break through the chicane. There we go. We have a good old interior camera for all of our cars. Hood cam, and we have a center interior camera, which is pretty neat. All right, how bad did we do in qualifying? Uh, fourth place, okay. That's better than I thought I was going to do. Newman with the 1 minute 12, taking pole by 8 seconds. Not 8 tenths of a second, 8 seconds over McDowell with Delgado in third, myself in fourth. We have K. Smith in fifth. And then here is the rest of the field in terms of qualifying pace. As uh, times are a bit spread out, yes. And that's that was qualifying. So uh, let's just get right into the race. We have a three-lap race around the 1.96 Netherton course and sunny weather. So let's do it to it. All ten Ford Fiestas lined up on the grid. Starting fourth. Lights are on. Lights are on. There we go. And lights are out. Away we go. Flying off the line, I go. Spoiler alert: these, these, uh, well, at least this, these early support series, uh, very easy. So uh, expect me to win. Because yeah, look, look how slow they were out of T1. How early they prepared to slow down for uh, <laughs> Gobby Gordon. But yeah, talk to yay. I got the mirrors disabled in the interior camera. Also, depending on where you where you uh, place the mirror, uh, if you have it on at all, it kind of moves some HUD things around. I like how I like the extreme angle of this rearview mirror. It doesn't seem very efficient, but hey, whatever. And we're just gonna stick with this camera for the duration of this let's play. And yeah, this is this is easy. I already have a five second lead over Newman, as you saw on the bottom left, next to my face. Oh god, oh god. These things get very weird. The physics get extremely weird at low speeds in this game. Like like very low speeds. It looks like what people who don't play video games think video games look like. I mean, this was true in 1998, because this is exactly what video games looked like back then. I'm just going to take it easy, because there's no reason not to. Two seconds up in my uh, first sector from lap one. Oh boy. One improvement from this game that I actually enjoy is uh, the sector splits. Instead of just giving me a freaking manufacturer logo, and how much time? How much time I'm away from the person directly in front of me? It actually tells me the driver name. It also tells me how far ahead of the next person behind me. Oh my god! Okie dokie. Oh no! It's the Keeny boy. Oh boy! We're gonna get a hot boys raid here right off the bat. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Rotten fence. Unbelievable, there's the hot boy raid. Hi guys. Hey, hello everyone from twitch.tv slash Mr. Arrow HD. Welcome 
to a new Let's Play of Talk 2. Touring Cars. Touring Car Championship. Whatever it's called in your area. Hope you guys enjoyed all the Marble Madness over at uh, Keenan stream. And, uh... Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing... Ooh, shit. Starting off festivities with the Ford Fiesta support uh, championship. And uh, I'm absolutely dominating because it's kind of easy. Like, kind of easy. We <laughs> feuded. Why? Why? Why is everyone Waluigi? Help. Hit a fit. I have a 21 second lead. But, um, from what little bit I've played of this game, it feels like the physics are definitely improved from Toka 1, uh, especially with the whole cars just wanting to snap. Just just snap oversteer at literally any, with literally any steering input. It's more so, I guess, within the, like, low speeds now, you know. 50 miles per hour and lower instead of like 100 miles per hour and higher. <laughs> Do the pylons explode when you hit them? They might. They just might. We get to view a replay. There's also another another thing they managed to add is replays with different cameras. I don't like that camera. I hope it changes. Construct additional pylons. That's an old name. Neum. Look at these boys, Neum. They are Neumen. Zoom. I have played Race Driver 2. Really good game. I'm glad we have an actual proper replay mode now in this game so I can actually get some nice, spicy video thumbnails. Yes, Keenan. I give you a gift. What is the gift? System is this PlayStation Uno, the original PlayStation. What's, what's this? I will click on this, and then I will look at that later because I'm recording. <laughs> so, anyways, here's the race results. I won this three-lap race, mind you, three three laps by 29 seconds. Uh, beginning a game kind of fucking easy. <laughs> Just a wee bit, just a wee small bit. Anyways, Newman second, Delgado third, McDowell fourth, Gordon fifth, Corden Gordon, Cobby Gobby. Uh, and we get points there as well on the left to our names. So 10 points for the win, 9 for second, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 0, 9. No. Here's the second half of the results, and yeah, it's just one point increments all the way down. There we go. That was our first race in the Fiesta Cup, and here are the points, and I guess the points are really important, so no more music. Mmm, tea. Yum. So here are the early standings. And because of how short these uh, support races are, I'm just going to go through the whole championship in one, like, this is only, this only applies to the people who are watching this, like, in the future. Oh, whenever I segment the shit. It's going to do the whole, whole championship in one, one thing. So, next race for the Fiestas is at Knock Hill. It's going to be a, a wet, wet one, because we're racing in a thunderstorm for our three laps. Just making sure I have wet tires installed. Um, not gonna bother with qualifying because, well, you saw I started fourth and I won by 29 seconds. Who fucking cares? Qualifying doesn't matter. Knock, knock, who's there? Knock, kill! Let's go. We're just gonna start from 10th and we're just gonna go. Way too OP. Dude, I know, right, Boo? Like, I fucking, I played the video, I'm like, wait a minute, what are they playing? And then I heard the dun 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 I'm like, oh no, that's, that's lightning. That's lightning! Red flag! Red flag! Alright, I'm just grabbing my bearings here. 
trying to remember how Knock Hill is. Also trying to remember what physics. In case this was downloaded, no problem. Oh, you do, you, my dude. Thank you again for the raid. Shadow Legends. Let's talk, Queen. Here I go. Here I come. Oh fuck. Here, here, are you, here we go. I'm just gonna push this guy off the track. I was a full break, full lock. Holy shit. Oh god. It's all happening. Holy fuck. Come on. Let's get my Fiesta under control here. And this is why I didn't bother with qualifying. This one Cody games are like a really bad FPS. Yeah, the FPS on this is a little shit. Like 25. <laughs> On, you know, NTSC. Maybe even worse, I don't know. I don't know how to count frames, I'm sorry. I need that steering sensitivity. Low sensitivity is fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Thanks for the host for mid. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna win anyway. I don't know, it might be. It might be like 15 in pow. Just take my ass knees into his tight as fuck hairpin. Last to first challenge, not clickbait. It's me! This thing is really, really hard. So, what you're saying is it looks like a PS1 game. Funny you should mention that, because that's exactly what this is. Oh, oh, that's that's the grass. Get all the grass. It's a guy that seems pretty bad, fast. Let me tell you, bud. Uh, it was going well until I got into the gravel and spawn. <laughs> also, in case you guys did not see my absolute fucking freak out this morning on Twitter. I may or may not have uh, participated in a race with Scott McLaughlin, uh, Lando Norris, uh, a Super 2 driver, and maybe other important people. I'm not sure I didn't recognize the names. Because fuck it. And uh, Scotty said I was fast, so yay! Super 2. It's, the, uh, it's basically the F2 to uh, V8 supercars. Hey, remember when I said I was going to just dominate this shit? Um, about that. Sixth. Sixth. Very good. Very cool. I'm, I am a god. I am a god. Oh, this is really easy. I don't even need to qualify or anything. Fucking spins on the last lap and loses. Watch, watch me. Shit. I'm gonna have to redo this now. It's Virgin Australian Supercars Reaper. Because Virgin is the sponsor. Also, I did see that he liked the tweet, Reaper. Alright, well, um. Fuck. <laughs> this is not good. Dead ass, dead ass. Uh, I was not expecting this. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be easy. Don't worry about it. Now I don't know what to do. <laughs> I am tied for third in points. I am four points behind, uh, what's his dick? And I believe we only have two races to go. As we go to Croft. I remember Croft being like, one of, if not my favorite tracks from Toka 1, so... You know. Uh, okay, well, it's going to be dry here, so I'll have less chance of making a fool of myself. Which is good. <laughs> so, fuck it, let's just go. Last to first, except really this for reals this time. Jimmy Johnson Homestead highlights. Oh, what the frick? Okay. 
he just turned dead right. Uh, hello car, hello, hello car. Can I please go straight? There we go. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm very rusty at this game. And we're not talking Rusty Wallace. Okay, maybe we are talking Rusty Wallace, because shit, don't fucking do that. Yeah, I need to turn sense. I need to like turn sensitivity up. Bad style. And I cannot change that in race. Yeah, three mark. That's for Dale. Mew. Well, I guess I deserve that by trying to insert my car into a hole that didn't exist. Okay. It's okay, we're gonna do more zooming. We're just gonna we're gonna zoom. This guy would get out of my zooming way. I do not remember this section of Croft at all. Uh I'm throwing myself into the fire here, I don't know why. God. From humble be ah. See, this is why I didn't jump into the BTCC immediately. I need track time. I'm all over the goddamn place. Holy shit, that was a terrible lap one. I need to punt Newman. Or I'm gonna lose. And I'm gonna have to redo this whole goddamn thing. Because if there's anything I'm good at, it's uh, fucking shit up. Nah, this is Formula Ford. Oh my god. No, this is Patrick. Man, no try to kill Jimmy. I think everyone in the entire universe saw that clip. Worth. Speaking of Lando, I've technically beat Lando in a race now. Because uh, that, that race I had with Scotty Mack, he was, uh... He died in a lap one crash. I ended up finishing fourth. Three seconds behind McLaughlin, by the way. So I, I beat Lando. I am superior, clearly. Oh, fuck me. Look at the body roll on this thing. Lord. Okay, what I say and what I do are two different things, Jerry. <laughs> Fastest lap. It's the final lap. So I like how the tarmac here is now, or the asphalt here is now, uh, no longer pitch black because it's actually been weathered in. It's technically beaten because he died lap on. Dude, I was kind of surprised at how many Aussie boys were fucking racing NASCAR. Like, literally, I loaded up Boomer Book, saw a post by the official Supercars accounts, mm -hmm. like, Oh, Scotty McLaughlin is streaming on Twitch. Oh. I wonder if he's still streaming. Oh, he is. Oh, oh, oh. He's running C-Fixed, okay. Fuck it, I'm getting in on this. And then I got in on it. And that's the story of how I became a racing god. Honestly, I'm surprised I got a top five in that race. Apparently, Homestead is just my bitch. I'm just kind of, kind of fast. The very wiggly Caro. Ooh. 
Nguyen was not in second. For a second there. Ooh. Hey, Delgado beat Newman. That means I gained two points on him. Pokemons. Oh, shit. That's uh, right, you've been wonder trading. I won by half a minute. Half a minute. GG. So, uh, there's the results of race three. Get quaffed. I'm only two points behind Newman, so uh, one more third place performance from him. I won't have to completely redo this. Three different generations of stars. Only three. Shake my head. SMH. I don't know. Oh boy, Thruxton. Thruxton. It is Thruxton time. It's time to go fast. Lap record. Minute 28. Set by Andy. Who's Andy? I don't know. Okay, sunny conditions. <laughs> Excuse me, sunny conditions. That's good. We're good? Everything's fine. All right. Anyways, Ford Fiesta Cup. Final race. I believe final race. Because I'm pretty sure these are all four races. Blastoise and all seven hours. Yeah. I remember 2013, Mike. Anyways, let's go at Thruxton, and let's go flying off into the grass immediately, like as I do. No! My boy in blue. Why you gotta block me like that? We're supposed to be teammates, me. Oh god. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Dude, I am... The thing is, Reaper, I don't want to pay the money for to be given the ability to trade Pokemon. Don't don't worry about it. You, you see nothing. This is completely clean and fair racing. Okay, this isn't working. Fuck it. I'll just take the L and we'll, we'll redo this. What does car support you with? Car. Fast. Let's hook up. Okay. I also really don't care about, like, filling out my Pokedex or anything right now. Like, I still have five generations of games to, uh, <laughs> finish first Reaper. Yeah, clean and fair racing. Racing is a non-contact sport, after all. I mean, that's your typical BTCC overtake, right? I'm just, I'm just uh, getting some practice in for the big leagues. Going to get into big boy cars. We racking up those villain points, dude. I'm going to get a stern mouth flapping at by uh, Newman after this race. He's gonna flap his lips hard. Hunt for Plato. <laughs> Dude, fucking 10th gen will be out by that day. Reaper. On the fucking. <sighs> Insert weird name for next Nintendo console. If I actually messed with, like, the gear ratios and the setup, I would definitely be able to get this over 130 miles per hour. But, I didn't want to, so. Fastest lap. Also, I beat Andy's record by, like, 10 seconds. Take that, Andy. No. Go 
Oh jeez. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you, Texas Beach. Very cool. It's it's uh F1 Esports Fucking Top 5 Racer, Jimmer Bobimber. Or wait, what the fuck did Arrow call you? Like Jumble Bong Rip or some shit? <laughs> Thank you for this. Thank you for the resub, Jimmy. Appreciate it, my dude. The other guy that beat Lando today. I did it first. It's like YouTube comments. Got got to claim first. Sub fart smellers. I mean, Johnny Narrow Straight. No, Newman finished second. Damn it. Oh well. That's fine. Nintendo console. Yes. I won by like over 40 seconds, by the way. If I wasn't stupid and uh, just spun my car in the rain, I would have gotten an easy clean sweep. Instead, I finished second. Whale. <laughs> Whale. <laughs> Shit. Guess support championship over. Just like my racing career. Alright, so. Congratulations, you didn't win, dumbass. You have a total of 35 points for all support championship races. Whoa, you can now access any support car up to Lister Storm. Yes, the Lister Storm is in this game. The game has some interesting cars for the support championships, let me tell you. But... It's not good enough. I need to do better. So I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna go do better. We're gonna win this Fiesta Championship. Which save? Yeah, let's let's save my progress slash settings slash high scores. Why not? Why the fuck not? All right. So fuck. Well, I've unlocked one championship. But those five points are going to bother me. I, I want to get max points on all these, so you know what? We're going to redo the Fiesta Championship. 